合図中将をわずかに浪したい新選組戦意のため宿内を改める His declaration was met with a cacophony of yells and screams erupting from out of the inn. Mazamaza, all going to Uchiri or Shirase Chatoka, Smoke Kondo San Nashio, eh? In Janeno, say, say, Dodo, Nanorio, I get it. So I got Uchiri no Joseki the Munda. Jibun was a Furina Joko, no Ikomunga, Shimpatsa, no you, Joseki. Heske and Nagaka grinned at one another as they sauntered towards the inn. ご用を改めてやる手向かいすれば容赦なく切り捨てる Then the battle began in earnest. The yells of men and the clang of swords filled the air, rolling out through the doors and windows of the inn. I heard feet pound upstairs, the screams of men dying, the wet thudded bodies dropping to the floor. シクショ手が足りねえ誰が来いよおい Um, well, there was someone, but all the men who'd come with the captains ran around the back and couldn't hear Nagakura. Takada, on the other hand, was stationed outside to arrest anyone trying to flee the building. What should I do? The only person left to go to help them was me. But even if I did, what could I do? Then. That was when I heard Kondo san. Nagakura called out from elsewhere in the inn. Oh no! I had no desire to enter a slaughterhouse. I had no desire to enter a slaughterhouse with men killing one another. Even if I did, I had no illusions about my skill with a blade. I was sure to get killed before I even drawn it. But I could hardly stand around doing nothing. Perhaps if I couldn't fight, I could rescue the wounded, find them, and carry them out of the inn. I made up my mind, steeled myself, and ran inside. Inside it was pitch black. The smell of blood hit me like this. Hit me in the stomach like a fist filling the air. There were dark lumps on the floor everywhere. The bodies of fallen men. Where were Okita and Heisuke? It had sounded like a good idea at the time, but as I looked around that charnel house, I realized there was no way I could carry two men outside. What should I do? Well, the guide says. Look for Okita! I decided I had to look for Okita. I knew I'd caused trouble for him during the many patrols, but he never called me out for it. It only seemed fair that I tried to return the favor. <laughs> A Ronin came out of nowhere, falling down the stairs and screaming. My Kodachi was in my hand before I even realized I'd drawn it. Then Kondo-san's sword slid through his heart. Uh, well, I, I just watched a man die. <laughs> I was stuck in a trance of ah. Kimi ga kita no ka. Oka no taisho wa nani o yatteru da. He did his best to act calmly, but I could tell my appearance had both surprised and worried him. Suman ga, Soji o mite yatte kureru ka. Nikai ni iru no wa Soji to Roshi ga hitori dake da. Soji ni kagitte make wa sen daro ga. Yes, sir. I nodded quickly and ran off through the carnage. He's upstairs. I took I took them two at a time and landed hard on the top floor. It didn't take long to spot him. Two steps at a time? I can't do that. I can't do that. I got short legs. I'd probably die. Uh, only a few feet from me, Okita was battling a Ronin. I felt my stomach lurch. The 
cold ring of steel against steel tore through the air, and their blades flashed, lines of light in the darkness. The strange Ronin's eyes narrowed and his mouth curved into a smug smile. I'd seen Okita train with the soldiers, and his skill with the blade had been clear, but this Ronin... The way he dodged, parried, and slowly drove Okita back seemed almost effortless. The blood and violence that was choking the inn had no effect on him, it seemed. He was so peaceful, in fact, and he hardly looked like he belonged in the middle of all that carnage. A smile split his face for half a second, and then he launched himself at the Ronin. Their swords slammed together. To my untrained eye, it looks as though the Ronin was a self-taught swordsman. His sword moved in large, crude arcs while Okita responded with skill and finesse. In a contest of skill, Okita would have been the clear winner, but... As their blades sprang apart, it was always Okita who found himself pushed back. The Ronin's sword was heavy but fast. It was clear he was Okita's superior in raw power. The summer heat had turned the air thick and humid. I could, ha I could barely breathe. Sweat poured down my spine and beaded on my face as quickly as I could wipe it off. As I could wipe it off. What? I... Decided to distract the Ronin! Nearby, a bull sat on unattended at the on the floor. I said on shattered! <laughs> Nearby, a bull sat unattended on the floor. If I could use that to distract the Ronin briefly... It could give Okita the opening he needed. With every ounce of strength I had, I hurled the bowl straight at the Ronin. Curled is such a weird word. word. <coughs> Without almost thinking, he turned his blade and smashed the bowl to the floor. The moment of distraction gave Okita his opening. He leapt forward. Even caught off guard, the Ronin managed to get his blade up in time, but the bull sent him stumbling back a step or two, an angry look on his face. As Okita lifted his sword towards his opponent, he whispered in a voice so only I could hear it. I knew now wasn't the time to bring it up, but I'm glad I'd been able to help. The strange Ronin sword whipped through the air, little more than a silvery blur. <coughs> Okita accepted the blow with the sword. However, the opponent's blow from above was too powerful. Okita stumbled ever so slightly, but the man did not miss his opportunity. <coughs> the Ronin's foot slammed the center of Okita's chest. The source of his tremendous strength apparently extended to his legs as well as his sword arm. I heard a wet crunch as the kick connected, and Okita trumbled, trumbled across the floor of the room. When he stopped, I saw him gripping his chest and cough. Okita! I leapt across the room. Are you alright? His face was tight with pain. The most he could manage was labored gasps and wet, tearing coughs. Tearing coughs. Blech. Okita was in no condition to fight. As I struggled to move myself under his arm to lift him up, I glared at the strange Ronin. I watched the tip of his blade drift up to me. With a groan of pain, Okita lifted himself up and stumbled between him, between me and the Ronin. No! 
Okita, you can't! There was a good chance he had broken bones. And if he was coughing up blood, then his internal organs could be damaged as well. I could barely st he could barely stand, let alone fight. And he was making no attempts at hiding it. But he stood firm. The Ronin sneered. No flecks of blood appeared as he shouted. Stop that! You're still coughing up blood! The Ronin regarded us with cool, disinterested eyes for a few moments, then in one smooth motion, lifted his sword and slid it back into his scabbard. What? ]多少は面白かったぞ新選組だがあの程度の腕でいい気になるな his aloofness was amplified by the satisfaction he drew with his every word. He placed his foot out the window, crackling to himself as he jumped through gracefully. Did he just... run? No, he hadn't run. He was letting us go. <laughs> Okita. His voice was weak. Why did you do that? Okita turned his head to look at me. You always said you'd kill me if I got in your way. So why had he protected me? He raised a shaky eyebrow. So yeba. His words were already slurring. Okita! His eyes fluttered and his body folded as he collapsed to the floor. Holy shit! Huh? I'd been so worried about Okita, I hadn't noticed. The sounds of screaming men and clattering swords had disappeared. It... Is it over? The moment the words were out of my mouth, I heard the sounds of labored footsteps on the stairs. Finally... The sun rose from the black sky. The raid itself had only lasted two hours. But for me, at least, it had felt far longer. There had been 20 Imperial Nationalists at the Ikudain. The Shinsengumi had killed seven Ronin and injured four more. I later learned that, with the help of the Aizu Domain and the Kyoto Judiciary Commissioner, they arrested 23 people. The owner of the Ikudayan had also been arrested for trying to help the Chosa rebels escape. The Shinsengumi had won an incredible victory, fighting against superior numbers in enemy territory, but they paid dearly for it. Okita had taken a blow to the chest and lost consciousness. Heisuke had been cut on the forehead, and the bleeding refused to stop. Nagakura had injured his left hand, one of the Shinsengumi soldiers lost his life at the inn's rear entrance, and two others were severely injured there as well. It didn't seem likely that they would survive. The Kyoto military and judiciary commissioners also fought the Chosu Reb Ronin. With a successful resolution of the, resolution of the Battle of the Ikdain, the Shinsengumi had at last made a name for themselves. 
It looked as though the peace, in Kyoto, the peace in Kyoto had been protected. Never could I have imagined that the ultimate result of their victory would be. August 1864. After the fight at the inn, I was able to leave the compound much more often. I suppose after what I'd done, Hichikata-san thought I earned a little more trust. I didn't feel like I did anything extraordinary, but I wasn't about to look a gift horse in the mouth. I was genuinely happy that the man, Hichikata-san, approved of me. On this particular day, I was out on patrol with Harada in the 10th Division. Excuse me, Harada. The Shinsengumi is out patrolling day and night, right? Ah, so does it. But what exactly is it that you do? Most of the men in the Shinsengumi were intimidating, death dealing titans, but Harada was a rare exception, warm and friendly. Nagaka! I guess our separate rounds brought us to the same spot. Yo! No, nothing today. You're right. There was something contagious about his optimism. I hadn't noticed it before, but he is he was right. There were they were acting strange, almost nervous. Ah it looks like they're getting ready to move. Ah Senkani what? War? There wasn't a war, was there? So yeah, I didn't even know that. I was here to come to the Chowshu. I was also a member of the Chowshu. I was in the case of the Chowshu. I was in the case of the Chowshu. I was in the case of were the Chosu going to try something again? Sana. Mada Hakirish Takoto Akarane. Dotchini Seo. Oreta Chiwa Oreta Chino Shingoto Sur. Chosu no Renchunga Kyo Nikitemo, Oikaes Dagasa. They accepted their situation and never complained. I had a good deal of respect for Harada and Nagakura. Chosu to Iksaga. もしかすると近いうちに上から出動命令が出るかもしれねえな。So, you think that Aizu will give you all orders? ああ。正式に幕府の一部隊として参加することになるかもな。そんな機会めったにないからな。せっかくだからお前も出てみるか。I was perplexed by his sudden invitation. Does this mean I could march as a member of the Shinsungumi? It seemed rather inappropriate for me to ask to participate just for curiosity's sake. Still, I very much hope to be helpful in some way. Could I, perhaps, do something like what I'd done at the Ikadai Inn? However, there's also the chance that I become a hindrance as opposed to helping them out. I... will stay behind! I'll stay behind. Harada seemed to possess... P possess a still heart, garnering a voice that was slow but at peace. He didn't respond to my words, but he smiled kindly. Part of me felt safer leaving just to avoid being in anyone's way. But... 
I also wanted to stay here, appreciating this moment of peace for once. Although, how could I justify participating when I wasn't a true member of the Shinsengumi? I bottled up my feelings of contemplation, and I just returned to the headquarters, 